Hey TVs, it's Lord Iceon. Well, welcome to Wiccan Wednesday. I'm out looking for our Sun Lord. I've been scanning the skies. I think he's back there, but he's hiding. Ever since our snow, as you can see, we still got snow around. Our Sun Lord's been in hiding. I think he's having a little vacation. But you got Lord Iceon with you today, so let's hang out. You know, we just had Imbolc, which celebrates the the first steps of the Sun Lord growing. You know, the back at Yule, the goddess, the great mother, gave birth to the Sun Lord. And at Imbolc, he's now starting to feed and walk. And it's a sign for us that the Lord's power is coming back. And we're seeing that every day because the days are getting just a little longer. Here we are at the shrine of the great Earth Mother, the Stone Mother. And I thought we'd pause here just for a moment. It's covered in snow. And just have a little reflection. The ancients of old believed that, you know, the uh, holy stones, stones that had holes in them, were signs of the goddess. They were goddess symbols. And this actually is a, a shrine to an old mill that used to be in our area. It's an actual an old millstone from the 1800s. But it looks very much like the holy stones. And I think that the ancient pagans would see this and say, oh, there's a shrine to the goddess. So I consecrated this last summer as a shrine to the great mother. So here we are. So while we're here, let's just do a little prayer. Great mother goddess, we thank you for bringing the Lord, the sun god into our lives. May he continue to grow and be blessed. We seek your blessings for nourishment for him and for us. And I ask, great goddess, that your power will be upon all my YouTubers and that they will find strength and joy and peace. And let them, like the Sun Lord, grow and be blessed. So mote it be. So mote it be. Hail, Earth Mother. Hail, Goddess. Hail, Holy Mother. Hail, Holy Stone Mother. So mote it be. Hail. And I think our Sun Lord is trying to emerge right from behind that cloud up there. Here, Sun Lord, come, let us celebrate your growing power. He's trying to come out. Oh, oh wait, he might be breaking through. Just a little bit. <laughs> I love the Sun Lord. We're going to talk about him today at lunch. By the way, I forgot to tell you, we're going to go have some lunch because I think about I've been working all morning doing readings and doing posts to Instagram and TikTok. You guys have got to go see my Instagram. We're stepping up the level. I'm now able to do videos on Instagram. So I've started a new daily program on Instagram and TikTok, which is called the Psychic Minute. So it's a 60 second video where I teach a spiritual principle every day. So please go over and visit me and follow me at Instagram at Psychic Bob. Link will be below in the info box. You can also follow me on TikTok at the same name, Psychic Bob, all one word. Uh, I'd love for you guys to be there because this is a new thing I'm doing. It's called the Psychic Minute. So every day I teach something spiritual. So today I taught about how to find your spirit guide's name. So definitely go to Instagram. Again, that link will be below. Uh, our Sun Lord just tried to emerge from that cloud up there. He's coming through just a little bit. Look at this dramatic sky. Really something, isn't it? Let's get out of the cold. Sick Bob's hungry. We got to go eat. Come on along. And here we are at Shooter McGee's. Lucky pentagram at our door. May the five ever be at your door. Blessed be. Ooh. Let's get some food. I'm hungry. <laughs> well, to be here, I am safely ensconced in my booth at Shooters, and look what Sega Bob got. <gasps> Cream of broccoli soup. Oh my God, this is heaven on earth. I'm gonna indulge. <laughs> oh my gosh, my lunch arrived. Look what I got, guys. I got. The Jack Daniels burger. Oh my god, it's so good. It has like caramelized onions and bacon. It's prime beef and it's got um I think it's pepper jack cheese and oh it is so 
heavenly. I got onion rings today. And of course, a lot of ketchup to go with the onion rings. Mm -mm. It's like Bob's happy. You know, I've been so busy, I haven't had time to do a video about Imbolc. Imbolc is the festival of the growing sun, as we were talking about earlier. I want to show you one of my treasures I'm wearing. To celebrate the return of the Sun Lord's power, I put on a beautiful pendant. This is a pendant I got a few months ago. I just haven't had time to wear it. I was kind of, oops, trying to save it for a special solar festival. But isn't this beautiful? Can you see the Sun Lord in the middle? There's his face and his rays. And it's got little diamond crystal. I don't think they're real diamonds. They could be. I don't know. But I didn't pay a lot for it. But isn't it beautiful? I ordered it from a store in India. And it's Lord Surya, the sun god. It doesn't matter what you call the sun god. The sun god's actually the same the world over. Whether he's worshipped in Rome, ancient Rome is Sol. And in India, he's still worshipped as Surya. You know? Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun. And uh, anyway, so... You know, it's been so cold here, I decided, you know what, I need some sun energy. So I'm praying to the sun for some warmth. <laughs> and I got up my gold, because gold is a wonderful warm color. And for those of you who are sun lord worshippers, uh, you should explore getting a gold sun lord pen. And now, this is not solid gold, I think it's gold plated. You don't have to spend a fortune, but get something that's brass or bronze or warm tone. It's a wonderful thing to have for winter time. So, there's our sun lord. Hail to the Sun Lord. Bring us all warmth, please. And there we go. I got my pendant here on my cord, and I'm wearing it now. So as you can see. <laughs> Hail the Sun Lord. I brought a wonderful book that I just got that I think I just wonder if I recommend. It's called The Illustrated Guide to Wicca. Isn't that beautiful? It's got the Wheel of the Year and different pagan scenes. It's by Tony and Eileen Grist. Totally recommend this book. Let's look at the section on the sun. They have a chapter here also on the Wheel of the Year. So we look, we'll look at that first. Down here is our Wheel of the Year. I have a giant wheel tapestry, but I need to uh, bring it out. It's in storage right at the moment. Some of you have been with me a while have seen my wheel tapestry. It's a wall-sized tapestry. And here's where we are at the Wheel of the Year. We're just starting around the new half of the wheel. And we're at uh, Imbolc, or they're also called Candlemas. And um, this is one of our pagan festivals. Now this is, as I said earlier, where the Sun Lord's strength is coming back. And we do notice that our days are getting a little longer. So let's take a look at the section on the sun. So right now we're in what is known as Waxing Sun. And here's a section on the Waxing Sun. I thought I'd read a little bit of this too, and it says, oops, hold on, I gotta put on my glasses. The waxing sun. In the season of the waxing sun, the light is slowly getting stronger. It is early spring, before we see much change from the dark half of the year to the light. Though a time of hope it is often hard and grueling. <laughs> As I can testify, because we just came through a blizzard, an ice storm here in Virginia. It's still pretty cold out there and pretty chilled winds, but we're getting through it. And, you know, I know just by watching the sun more that every day he's getting stronger and spring will soon be here. Ah, Tubies, that was a great lunch. Second like Bob is full. Gosh, I ate too much, but it was really great. Anyways, you know, as I was saying earlier, our days are getting longer. Our sun lord's up there behind that cloud. You can see a little bit of his luminosity. Is that the word? Luminosity, his radiance. But, uh, you know, it's cool because the days are getting noticeably longer. And that's really nice for me. So, anyways, I had a great lunch. And now I'm going to go home and try to get this video out. Then I got more readings to do. By the way, if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, uh, give me a call at my office. 703-825-3929. We'll coordinate schedules. Um, you can also go to my website, psychicbob.com, and pay for your reading. It's all automated. Go over there, read about my offerings. You can also register for my psychic development class. Uh, we're going to have our class this Saturday. This Saturday, I'm teaching on the subject of British spiritualism, how the British connect to spirit. And we're going to do techniques to teach you the British methodology of spirit communications. It's a little different than the American. So if you've been wanting to learn that or curious about that, come join our class. It's only $30. It's a two-hour class on Saturday at noon, 12 noon Eastern time till 2 p.m. Eastern time. 
and uh, we'd love to have you come out. You know, where are you going to get psychic training, professional training by one of America's top psychics for that little? That price is giving it away. So I'd love to have you guys there. Come and see us, and uh, I look forward to it. Okay, so go over there, sign up at psychicbob.com. Well, guys, listen, also don't forget to go over to my Instagram and my TikTok. Sorry about that. These alarms are going off. So what I was saying is go over to my Instagram, at, which is at Psychic Bob, and also TikTok at Psychic Bob. They're both the same, P-S-Y-C-H-I-C-B-O-B, -B, and subscribe. If you can't get over to those, get over to those for whatever reason, you can also go to my website, PsychicBob.com, link below, and you can see my Instagram feed over there, okay, at the Instagram page. So make sure to, to follow me over on Instagram because... I'm putting out a new series now, Psychic Minute. It's a daily Psychic Minute where I teach you something psychic in 60 seconds. Anyways, today I taught about how to find out your spirit guide's name. So if you'd like to learn about that, go over to Instagram and see my video. Or go to my website and see the video on the Instagram page. You guys are best. I love you. Thank you for being here. I got my Coke to go. I'm set. I'll get this video out. You guys are best. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Thursday for Vlog Thursday. Until then, may all of you always blessed be. Here we are by the bamboo. Hail to the green man. A toast we offer to thee, Lord green man. Lord green man of life, blessed be.